Yeah. My side girl got a 5S with the screen crack. Still hit me back right away. Better not never hesitate. Don't come around, think you're getting saved. Trying to show the dog. Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all how to recreate this fun a little like spring makeup tutorial, I guess. I don't really know what I'm gonna call this video yet. I hate how I always say that. I'm like, yeah, this easy look, but it has like false lashes and stuff. I'm like, it's so natural. No. It's just like a really warm tone makeup look that I thought would look really good for spring because that is the trend right now. It's like warm orange toned eyes and it just really makes blue eyes especially pop. So if you have blue eyes, I would definitely recreate this. If you have like kind of greenish hazel, replace the orange with like purple tones and that would just look amazing okay all the products i will be using will be down below also my shirts from paxson in case anybody was wondering so yeah without further ado let's get started with the tutorial so before the video started i put on foundation and did my eyebrows and i've done this in like every tutorial you guys know the drill i'm using my modern renaissance palette and using the shade burnt orange as a crease and you just want to blend that out all over This shade kind of looked weird on camera, but in order to like darken up the crease and build it up a little bit, I'm using the shade Raw Sienna, and this just kind of darkens things up. Next, in the outer corner, I'm using Cypress Umber, which is just a really dark matte brown. And make sure you blend this out flawlessly because when I put it on, I realized like, I don't really like the way it looks that much. So yeah, I blended it out to where it was barely detectable. I hate myself. I just used the word detectable in a makeup tutorial, lol. But I'm using the Real Girl shade and it's really reddish orange. I'm applying that all over my lid and then that's the same shadow I used in my lower lash line. I'm using a $1 e.l.f. pencil to line my lash line and my tight line, so then I'm going in with Kat Von D's liquid liner, and this voiceover sucks, guys. Like, I'm so sorry. I'm just having, like, I don't know. I can't talk today. And I'm doing a very small wing, and here I actually showed myself doing it, so maybe you guys can, like, you know, get some tips. And I applied a gold shadow in my inner corner, and it's just really kind of brightened it up. Any shadow will work. This is just from the palette. Before we apply falsies, I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, and for the actual falsies, I'm using Dubo Lash Glue and the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes. They are a major key. Look how va va boom that is. Wow. I ran out of my concealer, so here I'm using like Hard Candy Glamouflage, and this makes me look super Caucasian, and yeah, I don't really like it that much, but it is very high coverage, so yeah, here I'm just blending it out with a spoon brush. In order to set that, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and just applying that with a powder puff. To mattify my whole face, I'm using a powder with color and this is my Studio Fix. I just really like the finish this provides and it doesn't feel like you have anything on. Then I'm contouring with the Hula Bronzer. I always use this and yeah, I kind of like overdid it a lot today, but I really made sure I blended it out, so yeah. If you're a girl that hates blush, this is literally the perfect blush for you. It's Rockateur by Benefit and it just provides a nice like pink glow. Then I'm just kind of dusting off the excess powder from where I like kind of baked but not really. I don't know. I'm really bad at it. And I'm applying the Cover FX drops. Guys, 
please look at this oh my gosh so worth it i think this is a shade sunlight just so beautiful and you can mix this with your foundation and it looks so good but yeah i'm blending it out with a beauty blender here and you can see like it kind of lost a lot of pigment and then i'm just kind of blending it out with my fingers right here and you could tell the pigment was like 100 so yeah really recommend this This lipstick right here is my ish for spring. It's Max Velvet Teddy. It's such a pretty pink mauve color. It's perfect for this season. Yes. If you followed all these steps, hopefully you're ready for spring break or anything else you're doing this season. I don't know. You could wear this year round to be honest. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you're already subscribed, turn on your post notifications. If you have any video suggestions, just leave those down below and I'll be sure to get to them. I just kind of feel like a Barbie vibe right now. So yeah, that's kind of neat, I guess.